within the next seconds. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. There's the time. We're playing actually on the new map. Which of course is amazing as uh, the last time when uh, the dropout happened we were playing on the new map as well so I'm glad that the same map is selected uh, so nobody can say uh, talk about the advantage or disadvantage. We are in the game on the right side we have down five on the left side we have Zoro Zelda. I'm very curious who which of those teams will secure right away today the place for Gamescon and uh, we have the right team is going down five is going for bot tower directly as they always do this time they don't try to play and do anything as most likely the strategy of hiding here will be uh, will be uh, seen by you know by the enemy team from the last round then again it's a completely different map so he's checking actually where they are they have no clear vision yet both teams are rather defensive don't want to risk anything and now we have uh, three sentinels in mid lane there would be uh, Zell, Cobra and Rhino are currently holding uh, mid lane it's very interesting actually that team down five decided to not go with the supporter so I would see a little bit of an edge in team fights for Team Zolo Zelda. Very curious how this is going to turn out. Good engage by Night Blue on Bulwark. Bulwark Tactics is taking a lot of damage. He's trying to juke. Very good juke. He is going eventually down, but the T down 5 is taking a lot of damage at this current point. Then again, Vazog is a little bit out of position. He's going down as well now. Rhino is going down. Vox is coming in and he's trying to make a play there. Uh, Warhead C4C was taking a lot of damage going down two, so three kills, four down five. Of course they have the damage output because they have more sentinels for damage dealing, no support, no waste of a support spot. So then again, I don't see it as a waste as in team fights, definitely Zolo Zelda will have the upper hand, but maybe down five knows something which they don't know. Uh, and now both teams are trying to secure those objectives. Artillery Jones, very clever play by Zolo Zelda going for the top right. Artillery Jones first, as they know that they took the left bottom artillery joins as they're trying to equal the playing field still of course um, uh, down five is ahead uh, in xp as they are as they are um, having more kills on, on their account therefore they are momentarily ahead but uh, down solo zelda is catching up and the down five needs to be careful to keep the pressure up without without risking over committing and then suddenly falling behind. If they're falling behind, they will have huge problems against the sustained tactic of Zolo Zelda. So let's see how this is going to be played out. Two artillery drones doing significant amount of damage to the tower. Both teams are trying to focus on bot. Vox misses his pulling together. So no effective engage there, Zolo Zelda moved out in time, they will be able to secure the tower, I believe, if they're moving now in on the artillery drone, however, down 5 is body blocking actually any shots, artillery drones, however, are already on the watchtowers and Zolo Zelda goes into a lead with one battery drone, but battery drone, however, will be most likely being taken down without any issue bow down five and by down five and therefore we have a one battery drone for each team i tell you still on bot lane currently pushing but it's not a real danger anymore it doesn't arrive it won't arrive to the tower and now we see a beautiful engage actually in mid lane flatline going down and he popping like no uh, like no one else like bring it <laughs> What is the next move? Uh, actually, down five is going deep into enemy territory, taking uh, taking the tank drone down. I think Zolo Zelda knows that they're here. They're trying to lurk, but they don't want to engage. Next One level difference. Don't want to risk it. The tower is at full health, so they don't need to take any specific risks right now. They just need to defend against the tank drone. Top Blitz is currently pushing. His Rumble is still pushing into the enemy into the down five tower but uh, he's not the best lane pusher therefore he won't do that much damage and the mid push is far more dangerous as down five is in full strength in mid and they're trying to push this tier one tower down i think they're executing their tactic very well right now they have more damage so they need to play very aggressively 
need to push into the towers. Then again, Zolo Zelda are known for the strategy to come back in later stages of the game, in late game, and uh, getting the game under control uh, at this point. And you can see Blitz uh, tried to use the time which he had in top lane, but the tower is still like at, well, let's say, 45%. That is still a significant amount of health which the tower have, and mid lane is just trying to hold back. I'm not sure if, so of course, this uh, XP starving strategy is not really good working on the new map as those battery drones are objective which just need to be taken down uh, early. Uh, Vox, uh, they're trying to engage Vox, he escapes and um, um, down 5 is taken both but battery drone, top uh, drone is actually taken down by Zolo Zelda. Cobra is pushing, Ubik is pushing bot lane, he will do a little bit of damage, maybe he will remove the shield, maybe he will do a little bit, but not enough to do anything significantly. 6 versus 7 in level advantage, 4 down 5, they continue pushing, uh, building up aggression, taking down objectives as much as possible and so far their strategy uh, works works very well against Zolo Zelda. Zolo Zelda is still on the backtrack and now from now on Zolo Zelda needs to be very careful about defending and protecting what is theirs. Welcome to the Fury Skill Crew. Dear Els, Els372, <laughs> welcome to the Fury Skill Crew. You're awesome, stay awesome, have a good time. Top artillery drone was taken down by Blitz. Tier 1 tower on top lane is still standing. Tier 2 towers are still quite healthy. So, so far it's working out. If I make a prediction, if down 5 do not break them rather soon into the tier 2 tower, maybe they could run into issues as the team constellation of uh, Zolo Zelda will get stronger with the time. Ubik is doing its most to actually protect the artillery drone which it took from the enemies. War had completely out of position there. No skill, you need to be careful, you need to regroup fast with the team, but he was unseen, he was not seen by the enemy, therefore he had all the, all the, uh, the ability to uh, juke them, not be seen. And our bot artillery drone is getting pushed again, which will allow team uh, down five to take other battery drones. Uh, now, however, uh, Zell went down, was killed, was a little bit out of position, I believe. And so Zella took her out, saw this opportunity, grabbed it, hold to it. And now let's see how the game could switch at this very moment, the aggression which down five was building up and was keeping up so far is is I think getting a little bit weaker as uh, with the game progression and taking down objectives won't be that easy more. And now the situation is Zolo Zelda is going actually to make a fight, to make a play for the bot battery drones. However, the rest of the team is moving in. They need to be careful. Tactic is using his ultimate, his rest of the team. However, is coming in. It's a beautiful engage. Uh, down five to start losing one Sentinel box is already down. Rhino is very low. He needs to retreat. He's going down as well. And now, of course, this is what I said, staying in team fights is just for uh, it's just an advantage for Team Zolo Zelda. Now they have actually, both teams have uh, their um, MX suits batteried up, loaded up, so they can take it. And I, I can see that maybe now Cobra decided against it. Both teams didn't touch their MX suit yet. They're going for the first Zolo Zelda sees that they have the opportunity. So nobody's spotting down. Mid tower is taking a lot of damage. Tactics is dropping now. Sipo Sipo is trying to cover him now, getting out of position, getting heavy fire. Ubik is trying trying to catch up, Zell ulti completely misses Sepi in between both sentinels, don't do any damage, however Solo Zelda is ahead in XP and this is what I meant earlier, uh, even though taking down Ryo now and catching up uh, a little bit, Solo Zelda is just a late game, team constellations they are playing for the late game and uh, pushing them early, looks good, feels good and suddenly with one team fight loss or one uh, bigger or smaller or medium mistake you're falling behind and then it will get so difficult to come back those are definitely two of the top teams so never underestimate the uh, defensive power which Zolo Zelda has they have Bulwark, they have Rio so there's a lot of tankiness involved which can't be bursted down easily and with their huge engage and their OE stun they are very dangerous against a team constellation which is focused around aggression and uh, therefore as a consequence has a lot of sentiments which are rather squishy. Ubik is still doing a good job on bot lane 
I actually didn't see if he was taking down the artillery drone on his own. Two max suit R are going in mid lane. Both will meet in mid lane and they will dish it out. This will be an epic fight of the titans, uh, if I may call it like that. Let's see which team will secure the upper hand. Tank drone now getting a significant amount of damage as she is has no support by minions and this lane is actually pushing against down five blitz is trying to flank applying some damage from behind which is a very clever play cobra needs to rejoin his team as they need to apply some damage now blitz is getting catched a little bit rather uh, runs immediately to support him max shoot night blue is out of position there he can't support his team uh, against the push of zoro zelda against mid and those Timers are still continuing ticking down. Rio engages. Where's the follow up? Vox follows up. Doesn't hit, however, anybody. Not sure if he misclicked there. Currently, both teams are dropping in HP. It's early to say who will come out of top of it. Blitz is nearly dead. Cobra is completely nearly dead. He needs to be very careful, but they have the backup of the tower. So, Zulu Zelda needs to be a little bit more careful. The max suit of Zulu Zelda, played by Tactics, however, got a significant amount of damage. Is uh, nearly down, Ryu is a little bit out of position, he is getting currently hunted however with Resurrect to his side they can easily heal him up again, now Resurrect is getting actually focused, they switch their focus, Resurrect is about to go down, his heal should be up very soon right now, at the same time Ubik is going in, Ubik is dropping, there was a miscommunication, he tried to solo those max suit now, I think down 5 is in a huge currently lead but with the engage of tactics and his ultimate he actually cleared Clear the team fight, reset the team fight. Vox is still trying to make a play. They're returning to his team to catch up. Now Bulwark is out of position. Beautiful pull. Rambo and Bulwark are in trouble. Razok, however, does his utmost to support his team. At the same time, Super Galaxy Rumble on view is going and look how low they're dropping and active this time. Suddenly down five is dropping one sentinel after another. They can't just make it the, 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 the last step to kill those uh, champions of the so sentinels of and this is the power of having a support in your roles in a team fight you can just constantly getting healed up and if you're not not capable of bursting down a sentinel in the very early stages of the team fight you will just be healed up and then you're just making the mistake that you're just running one after one after the skill you have the feeling you just can't kill it the xp is going towards the, the team with a sustain and you're not getting killings and you're dying in a in a in a in a as a consequence of your of your hunt and uh, suddenly the whole battle turns and this is what we actually have right now solo that i made a huge comeback technically one could say that they were never really far behind as they lost maybe tier 2 one tower but tier one tower is not really important in shards of war they will uh, pay with a little bit of a map control loss but uh, then again, if they are holding on to their tier 2 tower, everything is still open and this game is around, team fights is around, sentinels is around, the individual skin and the team skill. Therefore, everything is always open, even if the tier 1 tower go down. So never despair if this situation occurs. Now, Zolo Zelda, of course, has the momentum. We know that they can suddenly switch from defensive into a very aggressive play rather very easily. They're doing amazing things. Uh, they did already amazing things in the past and they are still continue doing it. Blitz, Ubik tried to engage. Blitz got actually engaged as a consequence. Now we have two versus one. They should fight. Top Zolo Zelda is going in. Uh, team down five is on the back track. They can't possibly keep this onslaught on. Look how Z Super Galaxy has no, no fear of dropping. Actually, now he knows he gets healed up by Flatline. Uh, immediately Flatline knows what he's doing. Cross is an amazing support player. And down five is currently in the defensive position. They lost all besides tier uh, or besides bots tier one tower. Therefore, tier two tower are the next target. Zolo Zelda immediately taking all the objectives they can get. Of course, down five tries to counter it, but they are a level behind and they are still having two sentinels dead while battery drones are arriving. Top battery drone will be taken down by uh, team Zolo Zelda. Bot X Rambo is engaged by. Uh, <laughs> by Cobra and by Warhead, but uh, he's doing already so much damage, they can't burst him down, the arrival of Rio uh, makes, just seals the deal down, 5 is on the back, track. the rest of the team is moving in, they are 1 sentinel down, this 1 sentinel down, flatline ultimate comes very early in order to reset the team fight and be able to uh, yeah, 
fight on full strength. Down five needs to retreat. They're losing another drone, a uh, battery drone, and as a consequence, uh, Solo Zelda has another mech, mech suit operational again. So it's just uh, just uh, seconds before they can take it. Uh, Wolverg is already porting back. They're even taking the tank drone, not securing it. I think they can actually secure it because the tank drone will run to this point before it retreats into mid lane and uh, th therefore they can protect oh actually i was wrong wow uh i swear i saw it going to mid in one game so i was so sure it does it too but maybe it's different this time who knows solo that are two levels ahead and team down five is in a world of trouble the problem is they don't have the sustain so a long siege can actually successfully be won by by Solo Zelda, of course, they have their med kits and they can fall back, but they can use these med kits once every 90 seconds. So 90 seconds, once they choose this, if they drop low again, there's nothing to protect them again. And now, of course, if they have a beautiful engage uh, for off uh, Fox and followed up by all their uh, AOE spells, if they hit, they can technically burst a lot of run, but I believe that Solo Zelda is too experienced to allow this to happen in the moment he will engage they will counter with an engage of Rio and there's there is a pull together but no follow-up by his team now she has it on cooldown tank drone is taking a lot of damage but there's still an execute operation it's taking completely tanking the tower now and the tower is dropping really hard there is an engage by Rio followed up by not by Bulwark Bulwark was apparently stopped I don't even know ah, he is in the, in the next suit of course stupid by me and now we're going for the HQ one sentinel down of course they have a chance to defend it but uh, the HQ is dropping to 70 60 65 currently still dropping they're trying their best down five is trying to defend as good as possible now the ultimate of Bulwark two sentinels down warhead and Rhino are down followed by uh, Rio uh, for Zolo Zelda Zolo Zelda will have to retreat I believe a little bit Still, only Zell and Vox are alive against uh, uh, Flatline, Warhead and Blitz. This is a very strong combination, so they can still heal up. The it is a little bit low, but 10%, 5%. The HQ is dropping free fall, and this game goes to Zolo Zelda. Amazing comeback, amazing twist in this whole procedure. I apologize for the layout. I will deactivate it right now.